And here we go, five fans once again, three rounds. It's in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, is a boxer standing six feet, six inches tall. Weighing in officially 205 and one half pounds. His professional record is at six victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Leicester, England, here is James Brown! And next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His background is in kickboxing and kung fu. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, he weighed in 204 and 1 half pounds. As a professional, 14 bouts, he has 9 victories and 5 defeats. From Alexandria, Egypt, here is Muhammad Felix Ali! Referee in charge of the action is Rico Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell has the unenviable task of standing between these two huge individuals, Josh. <laughs> Mohamed Felix <laughs> Ali in the black and red. James Harrell in the black shorts. Three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors light heavyweight division. Some strapping on the left knee of Mohamed Ali. Wonder if that's a pre-existing injury that is going to be a target for a low kick from James Harrell. Thinking about it already. Start time! Over there. And that kick was slightly high. James Harrell clearly in a lot of pain oh, yeah. there. Grimacing after that low kick. Unintentional, but these things can sometimes happen. We're going to see a replay of that low blow now. Might want to look away if you're watching at Ooh, home. Yeah, straight, uh, straight down the middle with that inside low kick. It was a good attempt at a kick counter from Ali. Completely unintentional, but James Harrell is going to need a couple of moments to gather his senses here. He'll have up to five minutes should he choose to use it. Seems to be in good spirits, though. The smile on his face, which is, uh, I'm pretty much sure, more than I would have on my face if we were in his shoes. Now, interestingly, in if, if you look at where perhaps Muhammad Ali has struggled, it's when someone comes forward and really puts the strikes on him in volume very aggressively. That's what Fraser Opie did to him, and I'm sure that's what he's been telling James Hurrell. Look, that's what you've got to get, uh, get straight underway with in this fight. James Harrell taking his time here. If you'd like to get involved with the conversation on social media, please do using the hashtag CWFC61. And of course, don't forget, in just a few weeks' time, Cage Warriors is bringing you one of its most stat cards of the year. New Year's Eve in Dublin, yep. Ireland. What Two an event. <laughs> world title fights. Yeah, what an event that's going to be. Cage Warriors 63. We've got uh, Stephen Ray taking on Ivan Bushinger in the lightweight title and Jim Ayler's versus Graham Turner in the featherweight bout. And not to forget the Cage Warriors debut of Ready? John the One Maguire taking on Philip Mulvey in the bout. That's going to have some huge ramifications in Cage Warriors. And we're back underway here at Cage Warriors 61. Muhammad Ali and James Hurrell getting back to the dance. Ali taking the center of the cage, swinging the hooks. Hurrell answering back with a few of his own. Hurrell obviously with a fairly substantial, I think it's one way of putting it, reach advantage. Let's see if he can stick that jab out there and try and keep Muhammad Ali on the end of it. It's got to be about the straight shots here from James Hurrell. The teep kicks, the jabs, the straight punches to keep Muhammad Ali at bay. Muhammad Ali is going to have to try and get past the jab, jump in with the hooks. It's not just that he has to cover the distance forward to get past the reach of James Harrell, it's that he's got to punch up and up that significantly as well. And it's such an unnatural way to throw a punch. Right? You've been training for years to throw a head height and all of a sudden you've got a guy who looks like you're aiming at a man with someone on his shoulders. Yeah, but Ali getting a good couple of licks in on James Harrell there. Both guys being very patient. Oh, Ali not, looking for a oh. takedown here. Not something we've seen too much of from Muhammad Ali, but he's got top position in the half guard here as he looks to create a very strong frame on the face of... Going for the guillotine again, though. And Muhammad Ali taking it back and landing some big, big shots on James Hurrell. Yeah, a lot of force coming through the guard of these strikes, and Hurrell trying to bail out back to a better position, but Muhammad Ali with a very strong side wedge here. Ali needs to pick his shots carefully here. We've seen him get a little bit carried away in the past. 
Yeah, doesn't want to burn himself out. Yeah, good to the knee. Body. And James Horrell is going to have to get up quickly here. You can get out of here. Muhammad Ali pulling his man down, just breaking the frame away. And the partisan crowd here in Jordan making a lot of noise every time Muhammad Ali lands one of those big jackhammer fists. I mean, we said Ali's being evolving on this show. Again, we're seeing it. He's picking his shots. He's looking to break the base of his opponent to open him up for even more strikes. Really lovely work from the Egyptian here. Certainly making up for a lack of punches in his last bout is Muhammad Ali here. Oh, just a little over anxious though and falling off the top as James Harrell gets back to his feet. Horrell throwing a big knee up the middle. Well, he has survived what was a fantastic onslaught from Muhammad Ali. And the size difference here really is incredible when you just take a look at these two guys stood in front of each other, Josh. Muhammad Ali changing levels very well indeed, though, second takedown of the round for him. He talked about evolution a number of times here tonight, Josh and Kane. More evolution from Muhammad Ali. I'm so impressed with just what this Egyptian man is putting together. Knee on belly now, and again, posturing up for strikes. Burrows is covering, but he's got to show the referee some form of intelligent defense. Just covering your head will only get you so far. Burrows has to be looking to improve this position. He can't just duck and cover. He needs to move, and that's what he's looking to do now. Muhammad Ali going to be very careful with some of these shots from the back. Yeah, just perhaps straying a little high towards the back of the head, but referee Rich Mitchell right on top of things. Of course, from this position, with that amount of weight on you, those long limbs become a bit of a disadvantage. They're so hard for James Harrell to, to turn and feed his legs back inside for any form of guard work. And of course, it's very hard to get your legs underneath you. Mouthpiece out from Harrell now as he starts to go flat. And one minute of conceit of a concerted work from Muhammad Ali. He might get the finish. And that's it. Referee Rich Mitchell has called a stop to this fight with less than a minute left in the first round. And the crowd goes wild here in Jordan for Muhammad Felix Ali. The right. next step in the career of Muhammad Ali is complete, Josh. And another fantastic performance from the Egyptian. So impressed with this guy. He improves every time we see him, Josh. But if you look back to the first time we saw him, compared to the fights that we just see in front of us today, absolutely phenomenal how far this man has come. Night and day, absolutely night and day. It shows you what happens when someone really embraces it. And, you know, they get the support of their team and the public as well, and rightfully enjoying what was a very good, comprehensive win for him here. Solved the puzzle of how you beat someone with an eight-inch height advantage on you. Certainly had a lot of riddles to solve. Has Muhammad Ali? We're going to take a look at some of that action now. Muhammad Ali looking for a takedown here. Not something we'd ever thought we'd find ourselves saying in some a submission attempt here. We saw him get the guillotine last time out, perhaps looking for it again here. Yeah, it sprawled out really nicely and just maintained this top position. Kept his hips connected. Didn't try and, you know, tried to take the back once and managed to recover the position, but just good top control, consistent strikes and able to generate a massive amount of power with these short shots. And we will throw it to Joe Martinez to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Four minutes, two seconds, round number one. Stoppage due to strikes for your winner by TKO victory, Muhammad Felix Ali! Huge, huge win here in Jordan for Muhammad Felix Ali.